Hello Gemini, welcome to your water reading. This reading is just a general water uh, energy reading and is not in conjunction with any time frame. It is just uh, showing you a path to ascension, not the path. There are many paths to ascend and it's just a path where I lay out a flying bird where the body is uh, represented by an Osho card representing the here and now and as I shuffle and lay out the cards uh, do read the description so I am now taking out a general central energy cards to lift off from waiting for one to appear and with the Los Carabio deck I will lay out the wings representing your fear your responsibility to that fear Oh, we have another conditioning so if you want to see that card I advise you to watch maybe the uh, Scorpio or Capricorn reading uh, for the purpose of this reading I am going to generate another card so it does have and we have here exhaustion so definitely representing my energy because I am exhausting myself for sure and I am Gemini yes uh, so let's continue and I am now going to take out the wings we have a bunch of cards coming out here three of them that will do nicely so that one was first here we go and we will just take out the further intelligent action here the relax and acceptation point where you come to peace of mind of the wings and the last one representing in the wing is the arrival and we have mortification here definitely intelligent action and meditation all about luck within your responsibility your fear is about the fortune, your intuition is about the banker and you're at your best when you are making um, yes, uh, new uh, friendships and um, work relationships so let me start out with the exhaustion, it's the nine of fire the nine of fire 94 Let me hit take a drink first. This is the portrait of one whose holy life or whole life energy has been depleted in his effort to keep fueling the enormous and ridiculous machine of self importance and productivity. Oh, great. He has been so busy keeping it all together and making sure everything runs smoothly, he has forgotten to really rest. No doubt he can't allow himself to be playful. To abandon his duty for a trip to the beach could mean the whole structure might be tumbling down. The message of this card is not just about being a workaholic, though. It is all about all the ways in which we set up safe but unnatural routines for ourselves and by doing so keep the chaotic and spontaneous away from our doors. Life isn't a business to be managed. It's a mystery to be lived. It's time to tear up the time card, break out the factory and take a little trip into the uncharted. Your work can flow more smoothly from a relaxed state of mind. Exhaustion. Man who lives through conscience becomes hard. A man who lives through conscience remains soft. Why? Because a man who has some ideas about how to live naturally becomes hard. He has continuously carried to his character around himself. That character is like an armor, his protection, his security. His whole life is invested in that character and he always reacts to the situations through that character, not directly. If you ask him a question, he answers in ready-made. That is the sign of a hard person. He is dull, stupid, mechanical. He may be a good computer, but he is not a man. 
he do you do something and he reacts in a well established way his reaction is predictable he is a robot the real man acts spontaneously if you ask him a question your question gets a response not a reaction he opens his heart to your question, exposes himself to your question, responds to it. So something to keep in mind. And so your fear is about the fortune. Definitely fortune. What about fortune in this uh, deck? Let me take a quick read. With the ten of... Pentacles, winnings, liquidation, the fulfillment of your dream may cause you to change residence or make acquaintances will prove used to be useful. So I am definitely thinking about escaping this town because I've seen enough. And you should maybe also concern about the fortune, what is in your fear, Gemini. Gemini, you do dream about a bit. Uh, a little bit of fame, a little bit of fortune, uh, who doesn't? And of course, with that responsibility, we might have more clearance. It's about the Eight of Chalice, the Eight of Cups. And this is in this deck, opportunity. Your responsibility is finding the right opportunity. Profitable dealings and opportunities must not be underestimated in making your dream come true. The end of one relationship and the beginning of a much better one. So it's about new opportunities and creating them for yourself. Also by the intuition of becoming the banker, I guess, and the right intelligent action is the intelligent action represented by the by the page of of pentacles. Also meditation representing this, the right use of this. Uh, and your point of acceptance and uh, relaxation where you feel at ease with yourself is when you are cooperating, Gemini. You need to cooperate. You are the communicator. You need to be telling people things, how things are evolving and stuff. So uh, the two of, of the Knight of, uh, of Pentacles, uh, the Knight of Cups, sorry is um, represented by the friend, arrival, welcome, joy. Whenever you dream of finding love at first sight, that can overcome all obstacles. This card is a positive omen. So the Knight of Cups is a positive omen within this deck. And it's coming in reverse, but I don't really mind reverse cards or not. You are good and in your zone when you have that friend working at your side, uh, Gemini, and uh, standing by you within your endeavor. And at the arrival, we have the mortification, because if you have that friend to stand on, if you have that fortune, and being the banker, and not exhausting yourself, but being there and do the right thing for, and be open to the right people, and also providing you the right opportunities, um, and seeing the opportunities within the right fortune and the use of the right mind, state of mind and the right friendships, you exceed all the rest and uh, exceed yourself uh, as a way. So I guess that concludes this reading, Gemini. So do be mindful of other people and... Uh, help them with the righteousness of heart and so thank you for watching and take care see you next time